My name's Kurt Shadbolt. I'm one of the faculty here at Chabot College in Hayward, California. So the Chabot Automotive Program is very similar to what you see at the other community colleges. It's roughly a two-year degree program if you choose that route, uh, covering the fundamental automotive areas. But we also go into hybrids and EVs as part of our degree, which is a little different compared to most programs. And then we also have numerous certificates that break into more subject-specific things like chassis or drivetrains. But we do have a couple of certificates that are rather unique in that we have one for service advising, which isn't very common out there. Uh, we have a certificate for hybrids and EVs, which is also not as common. And then more recently, we've added a certificate for new vehicle technologies, very much focused on the advanced driver assistance systems and things like that. The big thing with EVs, it's not a completely different car. The majority of the car is the same as a car that people drive today with an internal combustion engine. So brakes, steering, suspension, the body electronics, those kind of things are fundamentally the same. The difference is, is what powers the vehicle, what motivates the vehicle. So it's learning about those high voltage batteries, learning about the motors themselves, the controls, the inverters, the converters, the things that make the vehicle physically move and how they interact then with the regular car. So it's a combination of the fundamental learning that students do in every automotive program that we've done for many, many years, but now having a greater focus on what's different on those systems when they're on an EV and then the EV powertrains themselves. So Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, or ADAS, that's the, the acronym for it, those are the things you see on the TV commercials with the active cruise controls where the car speeds up and slows down, or the lane departure where it keeps it in the lane for you, or the blind spot detection that tells you there's a car in an area behind you before you change lanes. So those systems, they're using a series of cameras or radar sensors or night vision or ultrasonic sensors to have what's called a perception basically do what the driver's eyes and ears do. They have an awareness of around the vehicle so that the vehicle can then help the driver have better attention. And in some cases even make corrections. So step on the brakes if the driver doesn't step on the brakes or help keep the car in the lane. And the big thing with those are, those are the fundamental pieces, the fundamental systems that will take the cars to semi-autonomous and fully autonomous. It's not a big jump from some of the high level cars that we have today to an autonomous vehicle. In fall of 21, we started teaching ADAS classes, a standalone class here at Chabot, to where we take them through all those aspects. So AI, we go into the AI and the machine learning, how cameras work, how radar works, LIDAR, all these different systems, and then how they interact with the existing systems in the vehicle, how those different features actually function, how you diagnose them, and more importantly, how you calibrate them. They're physically learning how to calibrate the car with a couple of different brands of equipment to do that calibration. So what we're starting to see, because of these new technologies, the, the rapid growth of EVs, even though we've had hybrids for quite a while, the EVs are surpassing that. And with the addition of ADAS and other new technologies, they are creating some new career paths. Uh, we're already seeing shops that are opening up new businesses just to do ADAS calibrations. That's their main focus, is just do ADAS calibrations. Other shops are opening up to focus more and more on electric because as the cars start to come out of the dealerships or they want to look for a different level of service, you now have shops that are specializing in EVs. So this is creating jobs that didn't exist five years ago as an independent operation. It might have been part of the dealership and it might have been one person in that shop that might have been the EV person or one person that did some of the calibrations. Well now, more and more people are doing it. So it is, in many ways, new career fields. And that's gonna to continue to evolve as EVs get older and they get out of warranty. Instead of replacing an entire battery, Probably down the road, you'll see companies that start to take that battery out, disassemble it, and maybe just replace individual cells. We can do that with some of the systems, but not all. With some of the ADAS stuff, maybe they go in there and maybe there's repairs that become made versus just replacement of a complete camera or a radar. So we don't even know what some of the jobs might be down the road. And the good thing is, is whether it's on a car or a truck or a medium duty or a heavy duty or a forklift or whatever, we're seeing this crossover. 
between the electrification, a lot of these vehicles as they're going electrified, they're adding more of these semi-autonomous and autonomous capabilities. So that technician who understands one could quickly move across the others and be able to apply it there. So it's a lot of opportunities and it's going to pay more because you do have to have a higher level of knowledge, more experience because it's more complex. But that new student coming in, if they're already focusing on these new EV systems and ADAS systems and such and what comes later, they're setting themselves up for what is going to be their future. That is their foundation to go from, not that internal combustion engine. The kind of jobs that we see our students grow going into. The ones that are still in program, a lot of them do work in shops. Uh, they'll work as lube techs and things like that, or brake suspension steering, the fundamental areas. The ones when they graduate, depending on if they stay in that shop that they're already in, they graduate into more difficult work where they start getting into diagnostics or larger repairs. But lately we've seen a lot of students start to go into companies like Tesla, to where they're going into the shop under an internship or as a graduate, and they're beginning to work on fundamental systems in those vehicles as they transition into being able to do more of the, the EV-related side of the vehicle as well. So we see a broad scope, everything from independent shops through new car dealers through manufacturers. Thank you.